pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's wood. Oh, that's wood? Yeah. Uh oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they used to make those on fancy cars. Yeah. I know where we came from before the rates were always locked in. For a year or like just a year? A year. Well, I'm guessing, but I hate to tell you that and that not be true. Um, yeah, that, I thank you. <laughs> I think we should ask. If you don't need to know right now? Yeah, no, I was just curious. Yeah, I am too now. <laughs> <laughs> No, she doesn't feel good, and I don't want to ask her unless it's something absolutely needed. Yeah, no, I know right now. You know I mean? It doesn't matter to me. I can, I just, I'm making a video for it, so I want to make sure I have all the information correct. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I think the rates are locked in because I know, but I don't, I, I hate, I don't like to tell somebody something unless I know it for a fact. Just go ahead and speculate. I just want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I would think they are. Uh -huh. And they could possibly go up next 12 months, you know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. That's my guess. And if a client asked me that, I would have to find out for sure before I told them. Yeah. Because uh, I, I also found somewhere online that they... Well, let me... You know what? Let me pull it up. I wanted to tell you earlier. You know how we told us to um, do the X-Low? Yes, ma'am. Well, I did the X flow with someone, which I've done that several quotes today, and people are actually responding to me. I don't know if you've had luck with that today or not. But one guy um, wanted me to email him quotes for both, the low and the high, so I emailed them to him. Well, he signed up, submitted his application himself on United Healthcare, so I told him. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, um, I actually did the same thing uh, with the low, and I got someone filling out the application. So oh, that's very exciting. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we were just talking about um, some new strategies of giving people prices and all that stuff, comparing uh, what we used to do in the past versus what we're trying now. So, um, gosh, now, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, asking the question of if plans are fixed or not, because I, I have conflicting uh, things online and I wanted to ask her just to see if she knew I think I asked my boss and they said it was or she said it was uh, 12 months and then it could like it's fixed for 12 months and then uh, after that 12 months it it could change depending on the uh, the market and all that you know, just like anything else uh, but you know I wanted to look it up and make sure that's correct because you know if I'm making a video a short, I don't want it to be wrong because, golly, if I get something wrong, it'll be all in the comments. You know, people will lose trust in me and all that stuff. So got to make sure all this stuff is, you know, airtight. Um, but, yeah, that was just the question I had for today and that I'm still trying to figure out. Okay, so I'm reading comments right now from the video yesterday. You know what? Hold on. Let me put you all down. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Now I can set y'all down. Okay. Um, so from Deeg, D-E-E-G. Um, so this kind of goes hand in hand with the question that I was still curious about. So let me see. Uh, it was about their... Uh, so if the health conditions should deteriorate for a policy subscriber, meaning their health is going down, uh, they're not doing well... Um, is the process, oh wait, no, I skipped a line. Can the policy be canceled or the premium become too costly if not locked in? So I don't know. <laughs> um, if it is locked in, it's locked in. They can't move it. Uh, and that would just suck for the insurance company in objectively, look, objectively looking at this. Uh, because they would have to pay a lot for this subscriber, customer, whatever you want to call it or call them um, to help the, the I, I want to say client because that's, that's why you just say to help the client out um, and pay for all the bills. Now, if it is not locked in, then I would assume it would become costly, but that just, that just doesn't seem like that's logical that it wouldn't be locked in because then in that case if anyone got sick they would just raise their rates out of the roof 
and it's it's not like car insurance where if you get in one car crash they just raise your rates like crazy i now don't quote me on that because i don't know for sure and i'm gonna find out but i just i saw it on here and i wanted to it kind of went hand in hand with what i was talking about previously um uh, but I, I thank you guys for all these questions that y'all brought up they are good and they confirm some of the uh topics that i've already made videos on so that's great like uh the general copay deductible out-of-pocket maximums um let's see are there any more that i've already been over like not in the video been over meaning i've already made videos on them <laughs> today i actually had to find someone it's if someone was in market and with a ppo you can go to any you don't you don't have to go to specifically to someone in network for your insurance to work with a ppo it's you can go anywhere it's just if you are in network you get a discount so that's nice it's always nice to be in network of course but with a ppo you don't technically have to be in network for your insurance to work um so if I come across any other questions that I that are kind of related to what I've been talking about, I'll uh, I'll be back on. But if not, let's see, it's three forty three. No basketball today. <sighs> Teardrop ah, sucks. But uh, I'll just let y'all know. Oh, and tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be a great day, guys. We are uh, decorating the house uh, inside. We don't really decorate outside for Grandma and Grandpa's house, but at my old house, dude. Oh, that best day ever i love decorating the outside of the house uh but we're gonna we're gonna i believe we're gonna make fudge have some christmas music on and decorate the tree or get the tree out and decorate it so look forward to that I, i'm super excited about that okie dokes guys i told y'all i wasn't gonna tell you about every single sale but seeing as they don't come around as often right now um i did just uh help someone get some health insurance so that's very exciting number two out of well, I'm not gonna tell you my goal yet. Ah, you almost got me, almost got me. Um, but right now, as you can see, I'm dressed, it's raining out a little bit. So uh, got the, this is a windbreaker more, uh, not a y'all don't care. Um, going out to Texas Roadhouse with my mom. So she's on the way back from her na getting her nails done and I just texted her, she texted me back, but it was right there. That's why I looked over at it, but uh, I think she's on her way home. Woo, let's go. Okay, those guys, we just finished watching Home Alone and now I'm about to play some Fortnite. Okay, so those clips that you just saw from Fortnite, those were from earlier, and I swear they were bots. There's no way those people, those were actual people. They didn't build anything. They kind of just stood there. So even though I got them right in a row, and it was with a revolver, which is pretty hard. That's why I liked it so much, just because of the revolver. Um, but anyways, I was thinking about what I said earlier, um, where I said, I'm, I know I'm not going to mention every single sale that I get. I kind of am. <laughs> I am. Um, cause I'm, I'm bringing you guys along with the journey. 
and on every platform I'm going to be keeping track of how many I have so I don't know why I said that I guess I was just I don't know why I said that <laughs> because yeah I am bringing y'all along so um that's it for tonight guys I'll see you tomorrow